nscaler454 here. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I bought a 3D printer. I've always wanted one, and since they're like $200 off for the Halloween special, I figured I'd pull the trigger and get one. This is the Anycubic Photon Mono X. It is their larger version of the resin printer, which I think is going to be the way to go since I'm doing N-scale structures, which is quite small and I want the fine detail. This is the Anycubic Wash and Cure Plus, which is the larger version of their Wash and Cure station. And obviously they go hand in hand together. So I downloaded a free version of Autodesk Fusion 360 and designed my first ever 3D model. It's just a simple shack. One to one dimensions would be about 23.6 feet by 18.9 feet. I think it'll go nicely on the layout in a going to use it in a few different areas. I like the way the roof turned out. Hopefully all that texture shows up nicely once it's 3D printed. I also made it in two separate pieces to make it easier to print and also it'll be easier when it's uh, time to paint and put together. So I loaded the 3D model into the lychee slicer program. You can see here's the building, there's the roof. I did all the supports manually. I didn't do the automatic because I, I felt like this looked a little better. Um, not so sure if it will be or not, but we will see how it comes out. I put the roof very, you know, orientated quite straight up and down to try to minimize any kind of warpage. But um, let's load this into the printer now and see how it prints. Oh, and also on the bottom here, it says that it should take about two and a half hours and use about 8.5 milliliters of resin. For resin, I used Elegoo's Water Washable Ceramic Gray. I'm sure an ABS resin would be better, but since the washing container can fill to 8.5 liters, I figured using isopropyl alcohol would get extremely expensive. So our first print is complete. It took just over three hours. I'll take it out and put it in the water bath in here. And we'll see how it turned out. So this is the result of our first ever 3D print. I would say mostly successful, but it didn't come out perfect. I am quite happy with the building. Uh, the details look great. And this is built to like uh, a proper scale. Uh, for example, all the, the door trim, that's uh, in real life would be two inches. And you can see the detail on that. You can see how thin that is around the window, which you know, maybe I should even go a little thicker in the future. But uh, it, it's pretty straight. There's a bit of a dip right here, but it's not bad. It's nothing I couldn't sand down. It sits you know, level, that's good. Uh, the detail on the roof is really good. You know, you can see you get all the lines. Uh, there's no bleeding between it, so so that's really good. But if you haven't noticed, the roof is a bit deformed. <laughs> and the funny thing is, when this was coming off the printer, it was perfect. And then I put it in the wash machine, and I used a lukewarm water it wasn't hot water but it was it was warm and maybe that was a mistake because this thing came out looking like a wet noodle there was waves all over the place and i thought this thing was a disaster so i put it in some hot water laid it flat with some weight on it to try to get it to flatten out and it did work relatively well and i thought i would be okay and then you know in the morning it looked really good it's uh it straightened out pretty good and I thought that was great. And then, now evening time, it has decided to warp even more. It's gone in the opposite direction. So yeah, that might be a case of the UV light coming in from here is was hitting it, you know, all day. And so maybe that, you know, changed it a little bit. But uh, it's definitely changing shape over the last 12 hours, for sure. How do I fix that? Well, number one, I could make it thicker. You can see this thing is really thin. So... Making this thicker would be uh, definitely helpful. Uh, this bottom piece right here, this plate looking thing, that is an alignment uh, piece that 
is supposed to fit in like that and it's not perfect so I could slightly fix that even though I built in the tolerance it wasn't enough I could put a ridge around the edge just to give it some structure that I could sand off later after it was cured so there's a few things I can try to, to ensure this gets straightened out but I feel like printing long flat straight pieces is going to be the biggest challenge because you know this structure came out pretty good so overall I would say a good experience and uh, it gives me some encouragement to think the, the different things that I could build if you guys have a an idea or suggestion of, of something that I could create in 3d print leave a comment if you like this video hit the like button subscribe and thanks for watching